Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learning. This is the next video in the tips and tricks series, I guess. And um, this video is particularly based on the comments, some of the comments that I've got. And I thought I'll uh, make a video on that. A lot of you have watched the video. Thank you very much. And a lot of you suggested, what if uh, not all these subjects uh, are assigned to a student? Um, some has commented, how about if a class uh, does not require a subject like computer science so why would that be assigned to the student when it when the student is created and rightfully so every class will have a different uh, subjects and so this is what i have uh, done a little modification with the form you can see that i have added another combo box that includes the classes and this class is by the way coming from the classes table that i made and i made a couple of uh, more tables as well so i wanted to show you before i begin and do little modification in the code now before i show you all of that i have to ask if you are new to my channel uh, thank you very much if you are returning thank you very much uh, welcome back and uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed hit the bell icon so you got notification whenever i upload a new video also to join also to support me and support this channel you can actually join the channel as a member and that would be appreciated great so that's out of the way so now we can focus on why we are here so if i'll go to the design view just because i wanted to show you a couple of things so for example i've created a new table called classes i could have added uh, another column in the subjects table right i could have added another column here with the classes and we can link that but i think uh, that will not be really an efficient way of working a couple of days ago i made a video and I uploaded about the database normalization. This is part of the database normalization. So if you haven't watched those, that video, by the way, you should actually watch. I will put the link of that video, card of that video on the top. So anyway, so what I did is I created another table, which is a kind of junction table, class subjects. And this is where I assign each subject to each class. So you can see here class one, which is essentially class seven has eight subjects assigned right uh, seven subjects sorry and then class two is assigned with five subjects class three assigned with four subjects and class four is assigned with three subjects now that may not be a standard uh, hard rule this is just for demonstration purpose all right you can have different names of the subjects here and then you can assign those subjects to each class and that all of that modification will be done in a third table junction table not in the main primary tables that's the idea of creating another table so uh, i think uh, this is database normalization and this helps you to scale your application as well so this is a very good um, uh, lesson I, I i believe just to give you a little demonstration i made another query which you can no, not this one uh, this one so you can see that class 7 is assigned with seven uh, subjects all right right from biology to history and the class eight uh, is not assigned with computer science and history so you can see that there's a variation there okay so that's about it that's what i wanted to show you how did i modify that tables and database to store that information and kind of link that information now from the vba code perspective what we will do is we will actually modify a code a little bit so if i click here on the button we'll go to the event tab dot 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 so i've done this uh, vb code in the previous video if you haven't watched you should watch that video so you will know line by line why did i write each line of code so i would strongly said that suggest that you do now because we have added another uh, column in the students table which is class then that means we will uh, assign class as well when we are creating the data so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add another line of code here and this time I will say class IT, right? And then me dot class IT dot column zero, because this is a combo box and the uh, primary key resides in column number zero. So that's in terms of creating the record, right? So it will add a record in there. Now, when it comes to creating or assigning subjects, remember we have given first, initially we have given the reference of rs assigned subjects that will remain as it is this will also remain as it is except this table name so now we are not going to refer to subjects table because remember subjects table does not have the uh, categorization 
of the classes right as i said this is going to be another table which is class subject so this is the table that we are going to refer to now and we will loop through this table and we will use the where clause as well now because we are going to loop through this and we are going to refer to the class id as a where clause um, we have to add a sql statement in here so i'm i'm going to create another variable so dim rs um you know dim rs what should we name sql as string all right and then we will give a we will we will have the rs sql equals we will have the select statement so select select what select um everything from from the table called class subjects all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click design view or oh sorry rename so just make sure that we collect the correct name and then we will give a where clause where the class id all right because this is what we are referring to right class id equals and equals to the class id which is selected here on the form while creating the student right while creating student we have to select class so we will now uh, filter this table essentially with the class id that is equal to the class id in the comma box so that's what we will give reference for so we'll say me dot class id dot come on column zero all right and now we are going to get rid of this and we will give reference of rs sql because that's the statement we are going to use right rs sql and rs sql here now the next thing would what we are going to do is we are going to look at are we uh, looping through the record set yes we are looping through the record set you can see here are we uh, collecting the correct information and providing the correct information so if you will see rs assign subject subject id equals me dot subject so why i keep saying subject for some reason uh, i made by mistake i student id i keep calling it subject id so, so student id student id they are matching with this and then the subject id and now we need to add the instead of this subject id um, we will refer to this table and we will refer to this subject id right remember we have given uh, the sql statement we have created and we have changed the record set uh, from a different table to this sql statement so subject id remains same because it has the same name as a subject id we are just moving away from a table which was earlier subjects to this table class subject but everything else essentially remains the same all right so i think this is only the modification that is required but we will test it out let's see so we'll close that i'll close the table and i'll go to the form view and now let's create another um, another record which means the student and we will create a student for example uh, mark right and the class we will choose class 8 remember class 8 has four sub uh, sorry five subjects if i'm not mistaken or six we will see but let's create uh, the student and let's see how it will work so create student and you can see click ok and you can see that this student mark has biology algebra chemistry geometry geometry and art but if i double click on tony stark tony stark has all the uh, subjects assigned and elon musk has all the subjects assigned but i double click on mark mark has very few subjects assigned to him now let's say we will create another student and um, you know we will create a student name i always struggle with student name i just i want to be careful that you know i don't use names that are uh, to specify so i use characters name for example and um, uh, you know so let's say iron man right and the class would be let's say 10 just to see if it creates the correct uh, subjects assign the correct subjects so let's say create student and here we go now you can see that iron man has only three subjects biology algebra and chemistry and if i double click on mark mark has more subjects and elon musk has all the subjects assigned to him so you can see how you can modify the tables you can create a couple of other tables and you can um you know create a new variable 
and then you can assign a, you know the define the variable with the sql statement and modify the code a little bit and that's it it should be it should be fine i think i have covered the questions that were asked but there was a question that if one subject needs to be assigned i think this is the kind of question well if one subject needs to be assigned you can define it uh, class wise for example you create another class let's say create another class and for that class you can uh, assign only one subject that's up to you uh, you may have classes like different uh, type of classes like arts and science uh, classes so for arts class 10 there will be different subjects for our science class 10 there will be different subject the world uh, you know the, the sky is the limit you can create anything in the world in these tables and you can assign uh, those classes and subjects that's why this junction table is created so you can have full flexibility to create these uh, records so i hope that um, oh there's something i spotted now this is only bringing the name and the student id but there is no class name so let's uh, modify that so i double click on let's go to double click event and in here now if i will go to data tab uh, i have to add this class id as well right so zero one two now we have three columns so you can see that for these students because they were created first earlier i mean in previous video there is no class id assigned so we will not see but for these two class id is assigned so three columns let's modify the list box a little bit we come here and we'll say three and then we'll just uh, keep it hidden right we don't need to do anything however in the code we will on the double click event in the code we'll do a little modification so in here we'll say me dot class id equals me dot list students dot column and this will be column number two all right that's about it and we go back and we go to form view and double click there you go iron man now for these two there's no class assigned so there'll be nothing technically speaking all right that's about it and well now you can come up with some other questions i believe in the in the comments box sure please come up with the question box anyway by the way if you want to ask something if you have a question you can post it in the comments box and i will be happy to you know take my time out address that question and maybe uh, you know i have a solution for that uh, query that you have a problem that you have um, maybe i'll make a video on that but it's not promised but i'll try my level best okay that's about it i hope that you have learned in this video something and i hope that this will add value thank you very much and i will see you in the next one